Hey guys, I'm Mari Ray and welcome back to more of The Sims 3 for the Realm Challenge. And winter is here. If you look outside, there is a fresh blanket of white snow on the ground. The frost is creeping up the stone walls. I miss the egg harvest and I have chickens now. That's all fine and dandy. But we have entered winter. Mal and Elia are awake. Elia got up a little bit ago. She's downstairs preparing some breakfast. Mal is making up the bed. And like I promised, there's been a fire burning in the hearth all night to keep them nice and cozy and warm. Mal will put that out this morning because I'm going to start a new fire every single night. But like I said, we are going to be going more into a skill building style during the middle of winter because I'm not going to have them go out and exploring for a large portion of the winter because I don't want them going out in the middle of the cold. It's really, really cold, you know, and they're not going to be doing that every single day like we were doing. So he's going to put out the fire now that he's up, get himself ready for the day. Ellie is downstairs cooking. Mal has been working on um, sculpting. Elia has been working on painting. They'll continue to work on that. They're also going to spend some time together because it's the middle of winter and they're in the house for a large portion of the time. So they might as well spend some time talking with each other, you know? What does that hurt? Why do you want to swim in the ocean in the middle of the winter, Mal? What do you... Why? What's, what type of sense does that make? Explain this to me, Mal. You, you confuse me to no end. But we also have our horses, which we also have to contend with outside. They still need to make sure that they can get some exercise and stuff even throughout the winter. So we still have to make sure that we tend to them. I'm not saying that we'll never leave a lot in winter. It's just that we're going to do it a lot less frequently than we used to. Unfortunately, our plants did not finish their life cycle. I was hoping that all these plants would be harvest the last time and potentially die before the winter came about, but that didn't necessarily happen. So it's okay, it's fine, but we have some plants that are still outside. We will then reuse them when we come back to do our planting in the spring, so no big deal. But Elia has prepared some breakfast here. So she's going to grab herself a plate. We'll have Mal come down and grab himself a plate. And then they're probably going to spend some time hanging out and skill building today because that is pretty much what we're going to be focused on doing. So Mal's going to work on his sculpting. Elia's going to work on her painting. Someone also mentioned, if why are you dripping? Are you wet? Like, what the heck happened to you, Mal? He was dripping water. Was it because he just got out of the bath? That's friggin' weird, but okay. Anyway, someone asked if I would do uh, glass build, glass making or something. Like, allow, like maybe Elliot could do glass making, which I'm fine with. But I didn't want to spend any more money just yet. Because I'm not ready to spend any more money yet. I want to hoard my money throughout the winter. So that's a thing. So that's probably what we're going to do. <laughs> They're going to chat it up and have some breakfast, though. And then, oh, she wants to skate on a pond with Mal. Oh, that's nark, nice. Nark. That's really nice. He wants to skate on a pond with Elia. I don't think that there are any ponds around. There might be some ponds right. around. Maybe they can go no, ice. No. Well, I don't think ice skating was a thing. But you know what? This is a fantasy world. None of that matters. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Like, let's put this away, though. So, um, put away the leftovers. Elia, why don't you go take a bath now that you are all full? For the day, you can clean the tub and take a bath. Does this need to be cleaned? It does. Why don't you clean up the bathroom some, and then you can continue your painting. Mel's going to work on some sculpting, and then I think I'll have them hang out a little bit later today. Okay, well, Mal made a chair, so good job. Uh, that's really weird. And Elia has finished her painting at the same time. Nice. Oh, that's pretty, Elia. It's a bird. Peacock? I think it's a peacock. That's pretty. I like that one. Why don't you sell the sculpture? Because I don't think I want a wooden sculpture of a chair. I might hold on to that painting, though. I like that one. That's very pretty. Elia's going to use the restroom. Hold on. Let me grab this and just put it upstairs and my random hallway. I'll fix all this stuff later when I get back to building again. I'll like rearrange where all these paintings go. There's another one in their bedroom that I just sort of have there. You know, what? I'm gonna put this one there too so I know where they are. I'll rearrange a lot of this stuff at a later date when I'm ready to do another portion of house building. But Mal has made himself another skill point in sculpting. I'm just gonna have him start sculpting in wood again. Elia's using the restroom. Oh, is the toilet dirty? Well, that's not pleasant. Why don't you clean it up while you're in there? Then maybe I'll have these two chat for a little bit today because it's about halfway through the day. Hold on. I want her to start another painting though. Let's do another large one because they're worth a lot of money. I'm trying to paint a variety. Holy crap. What? Oh, that's a horse's mouth. I thought that was somebody's face. I was going to say it's the creepiest looking face I've ever seen. But let's have these two chat it up just a little bit since it is, uh, you know, fall and they're not fall, winter. Oh my God. And they're supposed to be... <laughs> 
you know, learning more about each other. They're just at home all day together. So we'll have them chat a bit. And of course, already I'm going to have them be a little bit flirty because Mal already has told her how he feels about her. You know, it's it's pretty clear to both of them. They're pretty comfortable, I think, in their relationship at this point in time. But they're going to chat it up just a bit. Horses. Oh, okay. They're outside getting some exercise. Good. Good job, horses. I think that what I'm going to do when I get back to building two, I'm going to put like a track so that the horses can run like around the house, like around the castle. I think that would be pretty cool. Like, you know, there's like a pathway area where they can kind of run around through here. That'll be pretty neat. And I think I'll do that when I get back to building some more and we get ourselves together and way more organized than what we are right now. That looks like a horse, though, that she's painting with a really funny grin on his face. So, I mean, that's a thing. I also have baby chicks over there, which is so cute. He wants to hug. Oh, I think you are hugging her amorously. So, I mean, that fulfills that. I didn't even have to do anything. So it works. <laughs> Aw, oh, these two are so cute together. I know, it's the middle of winter. And you guys are just gonna relax with each other. It's great. So Mel has to pee, so that's gonna happen first. Uh, she's gonna go eat some leftover dinner. Then I think I'll have her work on some more painting. It's snowing. Winter is definitely here. But we are going back to skill building for a little bit. They spent some time chatting with each other for a bit and playing with the chicks. They've discovered that the chicks are a thing and they've been playing with them. So Mal's going to continue with his sculpture right over here. Oh wow, that's really loud. And then Elia's going to finish up with her painting today. And let's see what we get out of this. It looks like Elia's painting some horses. I'm always trying to figure out what she's painting before she's done. It looks like horses and is that a bobcat or like a lion? I don't know. But it looks kind of scary thing over there in the corner, like it's going to eat the horses or something. I don't know how I feel about that, Elia. You can't be depicting horses being devoured. That's not good. I mean, you have horses. You don't want them to get eaten, do you? Are you making another chair, Mel? What is with you and chairs right now? Are you trying to give me hints that you want new chairs? I don't know what this is about, but I feel like that's what you're doing. Make a brilliant sculpture. Sure. I guess that's something that we can do, hopefully, maybe. She's definitely painting horses and a cat. That is like a cheetah or something. I don't know. That's kind of interesting. I don't know. I kind of like that one. Horses. It's pretty neat. You are done and you did make another chair. I don't know what that's about, but why don't you sell it? I think it's time for you guys to head to bed though. So we're going to head to bed. We'll get up tomorrow and spend some more time together. Uh, we have to light another fire, so why don't you head to bed? Mel, why don't you start the fire pit up here? Because it's time for bed. So you gotta light a fire in the hearth to keep you warm at night. Uh, hold on. Elia was in the way. So light a fire. Do not go outside playing with the water. <laughs> Please don't. Go light a fire. We sold that chair, right? Yeah, we did, because I didn't want that chair. I don't know what's with him in sculpting chairs right now, but he's going to light a fire. They're gonna head to bed, and then we'll continue on tomorrow. Okay, you guys, good morning. Elia is awake here. She wants to build a snowman. Do you want to build a snowman? Yes, yes, she does. So I think that we will make them build a snowman today. That'd be fun. You guys can hang out today and build a snowman and stuff like that. Because just because it's winter doesn't mean you can't have some fun. I also think that I might go ahead and go ahead and try to see if I can get a little foul with my horsies here. Since they won't be doing a lot of like necessarily riding and stuff off the lot, it might be a good time so that, you know, we can raise our little foul. I think that's what they're called. Am I calling them that correctly? Is that what a baby horse is called? Jesus, what's wrong with me? I don't even know what's going on. But it's okay. It's fine. I'm weird. Don't don't buy, don't mind me. Don't eat the grapes. Come eat the food, Mal. You're so used to just eating fruit out of your inventory. You forgot that food is a thing, didn't you? It's okay. But um, they're going to eat some breakfast. Maybe they'll play in the snow today. That should be some fun <laughs> since it snowed nice and thick last night. And it's still snowing. We got a nice, big, thick layer of snow here on the ground. And I think that we might work on trying to get a foul today. Both our horses are up and they're eating today which is great they're gonna eat some breakfast and get their day started maybe do some playing around in the snow it always sounds like fun uh why don't you run to the bathroom elia and maybe put your clothes on for the day let's go upstairs use the bathroom take a bath mal will follow suit when he's done clean up when you're done 
Uh, then use the bathroom, take a shower, seeing as you're downstairs. Oh, he wants to kiss her. You guys are so adorable together. You know that. Make a brilliant sculpture. I don't know how quickly that will actually happen. I mean, I'm pretty sure eventually maybe he'll make a brilliant sculptor if he tries to sculpt something other than chairs for a change. It's very possible. But uh, I don't know. But horsies, where are you guys? You need some exercise. So why don't you... Oh, something's broken. I don't know who broke something. But something's definitely broken. Why don't you come on out too? You guys, he, he needs some exercise. Oh, never mind. He immediately started running as soon as I was about to see if they could chase each other around. But I think that, um, oops, I didn't mean dig around, but the, uh, Jesus, why do I keep clicking that? I told you guys, every time I play this game, for some reason, I can't, my ability to click things is just like severely impaired whenever I try to click things. Was it Elia who broke the toilet upstairs? She always breaking toilets. Pay for my bills, please. And let's unclog the toilet. While we're here, Ellie is in the bath. Um, she'll be out in just a second, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, she's good. Okay, so we're all good there. She's gonna go fill up the horse's container thingy with water, which is fine. Go do some chores around the house. Excuse you, Mal, I'm trying to go down the, the, the ladder. He's like, well, I'm trying to fix the toilet that you broke. So there's that, <laughs> you know? Ooh, look at that. Mal's over here harvesting the eggs and he picked up another rare egg. That's nice. Those things are worth some money. I'm not complaining. Let's go ahead and sell that bad boy for another 1,500 g scaroonies because I'm all for that. And then let's put this bad boy, these eggs, up right up in the refrigerator. There we go. That's nice and good for us. So now we have that away. Why don't you come over here and chat it up with Elia? Ask her out on a date. I don't think that I, I don't think it's necessarily going to work or not work, but that's fine. Our horsies are over here being all snuggly cuddly with each other, which is adorable. So he's going to groom her and sniff her and socialize with her and talk to her a bit. I think they're good friends. And I think that we are going to attempt to try for a foul. I don't think I have risky woohoo on for horses. I don't know and I don't feel like setting it. So I'm just going to have them try for a foul. And let's see if we could potentially get ourselves a baby horse. Because I did want to breed our horsies. So Elio wanted to build a snowman. So why don't you guys actually do that? That sounds like a fun thing to do for a little date. So build a snowman with Mal. You guys should have plenty of space. So let's build a snowman. Horsies? Are you guys going to try to give me a baby horsey? Are you guys thinking about it? I don't know what's happening right now. They've kind of morphed into one. I don't know if that's how this is typically happens, but I mean, are you guys gonna, 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 is it, is this a routing problem? Okay, I think it's working now. Wait, no, it's not. Maybe it is. Okay, it is. So let's see if we get ourselves a little baby horse from our horses. That would be nice. It would be super nice because then we'd have another little horsey to raise and grow over the the next few however long. Oh, they made a snowman! So cool! Aw, that's so cute! He wants to have a snowball fight. He also wants to give her a kissy. So why don't we do that? Let's let him go ahead and give Elia a kiss. Oh my god, it's just a huge blur! <laughs> oh my god. And you guys are just sort of like out there being all smoochy during the whole thing. I don't know how I feel about that. It's a little bit weird. How do I know if my horsey is pregnant? I don't know. I don't know how this works. Uh, have a great date with Mal. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. I don't necessarily know how any of this stuff works. So let's just uh, go for it. Um, give her a hug and compliment her appearance. I don't know how I know if my horse is having a baby or not. I guess if it didn't work, we'll try again tomorrow. I have no idea. Okay, so these two have been hanging out like all day. I'm going to go ahead and end the date and let's see what happens. Did it count as a good date? You and me sitting in a tree. Okay, I think it worked that time. So I think last time I just didn't spend enough time. She wants to go out on another date with Mel, which is very possible. He wants to give her a kiss. Well, you can do that. You can very well do that. Give Elia a nice big spoochie. And then why don't you use the bathroom and then maybe grab yourself a bite to eat. Elia, you can clean up this stinky dish here. And then maybe get some painting in before the night is over. Let's see if she can finish up her painting before the night's over. Oh, excuse me, Mal. My bad. He's been walking around in his cloak all day. So she's going to try to see if she can finish up this painting. She's really close. She's really close to finishing. 
Mal is shoving down on that food. He's like slamming that food to no no end. And then let's clean up the sink, possibly. Okay, you guys. Good morning. We are up with Elia here today. She is going to head downstairs. Oh. Yeah, and get herself some breakfast. And we got our notification last night right before they went to bed that Rosie is in fact a pregnant. We are going to have a little fowl. It's going to be such a cute little baby. I'm going to be so happy. Aww. I was like, it did work. See, I didn't know how horses worked. I didn't know if there was no like chime or jingle because I know with the Sims, you hear the little like baby jingle and that means that it worked. But for Rose, I didn't hear anything. But she is a pregnant, which is awesome because that means that we can get ourselves a little baby horse to raise within our family wait mel what are you doing you always do that you just immediately are like i'm out of here you gotta put the fire out because you are up this morning that means it's time to put the fire out then you can head downstairs and grab yourself some food mm. they spent some time together and had themselves their first successful date uh yesterday which i'm fine with they also made a snowman which is pretty cool it's not snowing today uh but i think maybe Let's see, what is there around? I was gonna say they could venture maybe not far from home and maybe just go do some stuff outside, but I don't really see much. There's like the river down there. There's like the little lake over here and I don't even think they're frozen over, which means we can't really do much, but I guess they could just go visit another lot because I don't want them to stay in the house too long so that they get the like stir crazy mood lit and stuff. They do need to go out and venture out at least occasionally. Elliot, what are you doing? You're going to go let Zio out. Don't do that, please. I'm sorry. I just, I want you to take a shower for me really quickly. But we could have them just go and venture to a different lot nearby and just go have some fun there. They can maybe build some more snowmen and stuff and just play around like they were doing the other day because that's always something that works out whenever we do that to have some fun. Uh, or they can just, I guess, go for a ride on their horses because that works. Just not far, but just a nice little ride somewhere. That could work too. Let's do that. Let's do that today. Let's have them go out just a little bit today so that they're not stir crazy and going insane. Can we ride the pregnant horse? I don't exactly know how this works. I'm assuming that she could still be ridden. Yeah, she can. So let's go out for a ride with our little pregnant Rosie here. And now we'll go out for a ride with Zio. What? Huh? What happened? Why did you get off of the horse? What's happening? Is she not allowed to leave? I'm quite confused. Well, apparently Elia can't go for a ride with her. I have no idea what just happened. Like I told her to go for a ride and then she got off and then she just ran away. So come here, Zio, why don't you come here? Let, let um, Elia clean you up a little bit because you need to be brushed down really good. You're kind of dirty, smelling a little weird. Come here, my little horsey poo. Let's care for him and clean his hooves and give him a nice brush down. Elia has just completed a painting. Oh, that's kind of pretty. What is that? I don't know what it is, but I like that one, Elia. So, hey, guys. <laughs> I just came back in. Uh, they have been uh, pretty much hanging out all day. They talked to each other for a bit. Um, I tried to go for a ride with Rose earlier. It didn't really work out. But her and uh, Zio are out here being all nuzzly nuzzly, which is adorable. Um, Elia is going to grab herself some food. I really like this painting, so once again, I'm going to hold on to another painting. I'll find a place to put all these, I swear it. Someday, we'll find a nice place to put all these paintings. We have four now, and I might still sell some of them, because I don't know how much I'll keep all of them, but I do like some of them for at least some respects. So we'll probably be putting at least a couple of these on the wall for decoration. Mal is sculpting a wooden fish. I don't know how I feel about that, but we'll see how that all turns out for him later. Good job, Mal, I guess. But, um, it's snowing again! Yay! But we tried to leave the lot, and I think that tomorrow we'll probably will leave the lot. Just go uh, a lot or so over and maybe just play around in the snow again, just to make sure that our simmies aren't cooped up at home all day long. But let's try to paint a small painting. We don't have any small paintings that we like, Elliot. We have to have variety. He's painted a... What a fish, okay. <laughs> Sell it, I don't want the fish. I am strictly restricting him to wood sculpting, by the way. Like I said in the uh, rules, I cannot sculpt in stone. Um, 
uh, clay, I suppose, is okay. Uh, ice, I don't know how I feel about ice. I mean, I guess it's an appropriate time to sculpt an ice. I can make it a rule where it's like you can only sculpt an ice in the winter time. And also, I think you have to ignore the chainsaw because I do believe they use a chainsaw to sculpt an ice. But I could say only in the winter is it appropriate to make ice sculptures. I could do something like that. Or I could just avoid uh, ice altogether. I've been strictly kind of limiting him to wood sculptures for the most part, just because it's a pretty easy material for them to get their hands on. And I feel like that would probably be the majority of what he would do until we have some of those other kingdoms unlocked to do like stone sculptures and stuff like that. So for now, we're gonna strictly sculpt in wood here. Ooh, look at that. This is a different piece of wood too. Like it's like random when different woods, I guess, kind of come through. Let's eat some food here. Well, well, eat some food. We already have food. We don't need to prepare too much food because then, oh, Ma she's done. What is this? It's like a lake or something. Pretty, but I don't really want that one. So let's sell it. Okay, you guys, good morning. You missed nothing yesterday for the rest of the day. They sat around, Elliot did a couple of paintings. She cooked some food last night. She made this painting over here, which I'm not a fan of and I will sell this morning. So let's go on over and grab ourselves some chow from the fridge or the food box. I don't know what you exactly call that, but she's gonna go ahead and eat. Mel is going to come down and do the same once he's awake. Uh, she can go put out the fire this morning. It's fine. We are more than capable of handling doing that. Right, Elia? Yeah, we are. So she's gonna go ahead and wash that plate. Let's sell that. And then let's go upstairs and use the restroom. Take a bath. We should be able to poke out the fire at that point. Do some cleaning up a little bit. Oh, no, she really, really has to pee. You can go pee and you can also go in there and like eat some food. I mean, nothing is stopping you from that, right? Why don't you go in there and eat the hay? Is she eating? Good, she's eating. Good horsey. I don't know if the horses get stir crazy like the Sims do, but I don't know. I don't know when um my horse is gonna have her her um foul because I do have a mod in my game because I play with very long lifespans. I have a mod that makes pregnancies last longer because I just think it fits better because if my Sims had an extremely long lifespan and they still had babies in like three days, it would probably be, hello, mailman. It would probably be like really, really weird. And like they probably have like a thousand gajillion kids. So to kind of supplement that, I have a mod that makes it so that they, they're pregnant much longer. I forgot how many how many days it is, but it's much longer than the normal days. So that's my trade-off of playing with the super long life and I don't have a thousand kids. You know, that's just like my, my, my way of playing. A few moments later. Oh, my fowl was born. Really? Rose just gave birth to a fowl. What would you like to name him? I was going to ask everybody what I should name him because I didn't think it would be born that early, but it's born already and I don't know what to call him. Slepnir? Slepnir. What is that name going on with the... I don't... I don't know what that... I don't know what that is. Okay, now I have to think of a name. Give me a second. Spade. That's what we're gonna call our horse, Spade. I don't, I didn't know she was gonna have the horse that fast. The game has duped me. It didn't even give me a message that she was having a baby. It just said that they were playing in the snow and they got a thing and she, okay, well now we have a baby horse named Spade because I didn't know this was happening this soon. I'm sorry guys. I was gonna ask you guys for names, but the horse is here now. I bet the horse is here. And it has like Zeo's coloring with her hair, which is pretty interesting. So, oh, look at, look at the baby. Is it a boy? Because I just named it Spade and I didn't. It is a boy. It's a boy horsey. And he's brave and he's playful and he's untrained, which makes sense. But oh, so cute. We got a baby horsey. Oh, it's adorable. Look at the horse, baby. It has like her hair, but then Zeo's coloring, which is pretty interesting. Look at that though. Oh, he wants to sniff him. You're really smelly though, so you should probably be clean. Why don't we have these guys at home? They're, they're out playing in the snow and they don't even know that they're new grandparents to a uh, baby horse. You have to come see your new baby horse because your new grandparents, they also, they built this snowman over here. They built the hockey snowman, which I didn't know was a thing, but they were out here playing in the snow for a while and they built the snowman. And it has a hockey gear on, so that's kind of cute. Mal, what are you doing? 
why did you go around in a circle like that? Like, Ellie is like, I'm going home the smart way. <laughs> you go ahead and run a track like that. You go ahead and do that. We have a new baby horse, though. Look at it. It's so cute. Yeah, see, she's like bottle feed him, and he's such a cute babe. That's so cute. Zio, you smell bad. Uh, why don't you clean him up, please? And brush him a little bit. Are you back home now? You are back home. Good job, Mal. We've got a new baby in the family, and it's so precious. Spade is so precious. Let's talk to him. Talk to our little horse, babe. They're still technically on a date right now, but baby horses are just cute. Look at it! It's so tiny. Hello, little horsey. Hello! Oh, it's so cute. He's like, where's my mama? I'm going with my mama. Leave me alone. Stranger. Stranger danger. <laughs> I think he is just sort of following his mom around. But Ellie is making sure that he gets all cleaned up. They're both getting a bit hungry, so why don't you guys both go inside and eat some dinner. Eat some leftovers. And eat some leftovers. We are new grandparents to a brand new baby horse. Aw, it's so precious. They're gonna sit down and eat. Chat up a bit. It's getting a little bit later, so I think we'll work on some skills for the rest of the afternoon. Elliot, no, the freaking chickens, man. Every time. They just, it never fails. They just love chickens, apparently. It's kind of crazy. Let's go ahead and end the date. Oh, yay, and it worked out as a good date again. Nice. I just need to make them do some fun stuff, like pelt each other with snowballs all day. And it seems to work out great, I guess. She wants to bottle feed the baby. I don't think you need to, but... Okay, I'll like put that there for now because he has his mama and I believe he can just nurse from his mama, which is great. So let's go ahead and paint a new large painting. Mal's going to clean up after himself. Uh, let's go ahead and use the restroom and then you can continue sculpting. Are you painting the weird mailbox again? She is. That's fine. We'll paint it again and sell it. I don't have a problem with it. But he's going to go ahead and sculpt. And I pretty much think that that's what's going to happen for the rest of this particular episode. Because I am running low on time. And this is pretty much what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. They're going to work on some sculpting and some painting here. We're going to get our fires lit. And we're going to head to bed and prepare for tomorrow. Or the next day, should I say. So I think that's where we're going to end this episode. We had an unexpected baby in the same episode. Like, I was thinking that it would take longer. Oh, look, he's crafting a wine cellar thing i didn't know that we could craft that but that's pretty wicked because i could use that we can make wine eventually and nectar making and stuff and i could actually sculpt my own like wine cellar things that's pretty neat actually i didn't know that was a thing that could be sculpted i'm uh actually that's pretty cool so when he's done with that we might hold on to that particular sculpture because we could use it in our cellar and now i know how to get those without spending a bunch of money on them pretty neat indeed actually so i'm going to leave this episode here though we had an unexpected addition to the family i thought that it would take longer to have the baby because i thought my mod applied to animals but possibly it doesn't i know it applies to sims themselves but i guess my mod does not apply to animals because she did have him in about three days so that's cool though it's fine we have our new baby horse spade and he will be growing up soon we'll be able to train him we'll have him all ready for an additional family member whenever that may be but now we have three horses to take care of and only two sims so I don't know what we're going to do about that. <laughs> I was hoping that it would take a little bit longer to have the baby, uh, but that, that didn't happen. But that's fine. We'll have three horses. That way we'll make sure that we at least have a younger horse to potentially continue breeding. I don't know if we should make them have another horse, but you see, that's like... That's a lot of horses to take care of. So I think we'll keep it at three for now because we barely have enough time for what we have already. We can always adopt another wild horse. So long as Elia and or Mal is in the family, we can always get another wild horse in our family if we absolutely have to. But I'm gonna end this episode here. They're gonna be heading to bed after a little bit. And uh, yeah, we made some progress, I suppose. We've added a Bebe horse to the family, which is sweet. So let's go ahead and light the fireplaces and get ready for bed. So thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video then please give it a like or don't that's up to you but i do hope that you'll come back and join me for more of the for the realm challenge here on the channel thanks guys bye bye